I would like to start this episode with a question for the mind readers. Okay. Um, as in me or, or, or the listeners? <laughs> That's what I thought. Right. Yep. <laughs> Did you seriously just get that? Welcome back to another episode of Fine Leg to Full Forward. As you can tell, we're in fine form early this episode, <laughs> although it took took the man sitting to my right a little uh, little bit to get that one there. Yep. Yeah, just- uh, Ashwin, how you going? I'm going okay, mate. Bit slow. Bit slow. Bit slow. Been, um, been saying it at work too. Bit slow. Bit slow. Um, is that your tummy? It was, yeah. Was- <laughs> yep. Should I should I get out of the habit of saying tummy? I say tummy all the time instead of saying stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think: is tummy worse than belly? <laughs> oh, neither are great. I mean, just say stomach. Just say stomach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, it was my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I was a bit slow to catch the um the gag at the start. Um. I've been a bit slow in general as of late since a um, car crash. So, Cammy and I were in a car and we were in a car crash last week. You were. Um, so, the old uh, Honda Civic got uh, crumpled. The Batmobile. The Batmobile <laughs> back in front. Um, but, yeah, both of us are okay, yep. which is the, the most important thing. Absolutely, it is. Um, yeah, just a little bit of back pain, neck pain, but- Aside from that, very lucky. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. No, but I, but I have been. Okay. Yeah. But since then, I have been um, just, you know, whenever I feel like I've just been slow to catch on or just, just oh, you know, since the accident, mate, since <laughs> it's just, you know. I will say I've known you for a little while. Yeah. I promise you it's got nothing to do with the accident. <laughs> The fact that we, uh, before we saw the message, because obviously you're, you're on the way to basketball. Yeah. The fact yeah. that we thought Ashwin's forgotten about the game. <laughs> <laughs> probably tells you. He's just forgotten. <laughs> it probably tells you all you need to know. <laughs> but that, nah, nah, in all seriousness, glad you're okay. What's the, um, what's the hire car? It what is a uh, Hyundai venue. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have been that high off the ground it's not really that high you wouldn't have been that high off the ground since the uh parents captiva right yeah since then yeah so driving a civic around everywhere like any car like this feels like a like very high off the ground <laughs> and i don't think i'm that and high it's, off it's, the ground it's not a large suv it's not a large size, suv yeah. by any stretch but i think that the the civic is very much just on the ground so yeah you low rider <laughs> Yeah, 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 but um, you're going well. Other than that, you're, you're recovering yeah. nicely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going well, mate. Going well. It's good, um, mate. yeah. Obviously, dealing with all the insurance stuff and trying to get that sorted, which is, I think, I think for any any of the listeners that have been in in car crashes and, and the like, it's probably just as uh, just as much of a pain. <laughs> Yeah, it's as much of a pain in the neck as the whiplash. As the actual right? whiplash. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Nah. Apart from that, going okay. That's How good, have you mate. been, mate? That's good, mate. Um, yeah, good, I think. I think. We had Tasha's parents come to visit the weekend just gone, mm-hmm. um, which was a really, really wholesome weekend. Mm. They, Our parents met. Yep. For the first time, so I guess we're getting pretty serious. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that's the first time. It's, it's pretty yeah. pretty monumental. It is, it is, yep. Um, but no, it all, all went well. Everyone everyone got along, which is really nice. It's it good, to, good to have, yeah, 
such different parts of the family in the same place. It was, it was yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Other than that, mate, pretty much, pretty much business as usual. Yeah, nothing really to report. I did want to. I did want to bring up one thing, and mm. I'm just going to do it now. Okay. Obviously, the last episode we recorded was mm. uh, let's let's just say it for how it is. It was quite political. <laughs> it was uh, quite political. Yeah, and we're not saying that we we inspired any sort of violence, but just it's a hell of, hell of a coincidence that. Trump was then shot. Yeah, the assassination attempt. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All, all, I mean, it, it, event A happened, event B happened. That's all we can say. <laughs> <laughs> what are the, um, what the, you remember the year 10 philosophy, the, like the, the clauses, like the, um, oh, if the, A, then B. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't remember. It's really, really remember. testing the old. Really, you listened in philosophy. I know, I do. You don't remember. I, 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 Shit, okay. It's, I just, I just, oh, what, what was it? Oh, no, nah, I can't, I can't nah. remember. I, I do know what you mean, though. Yeah. But you, you, yeah, you can't say that something was caused by the other just because of, it's like that, that whole relationship between events and stuff. Anyway. So, so just, just to be clear, you're not. Claiming the credit for the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. <laughs> no. you, you want to get that on the record? Yeah, yeah we probably should. No. Should get that out there. Um, we do not claim responsibility. <laughs> and the country breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> so, running it back through another unspecified time period. Unit. Oh, shit. Unit. Every time. Unit. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to how, say. How are we going to put that on merch if we don't know what the <laughs> hell is? If we're not consistent <laughs> with what we actually call it. Um, <laughs> another unspecified time unit. Um, a few big headlines have happened. Yes. Um, yep. Starting with Jimmy Anderson, oh. arguably the greatest... Um, I'll say, yeah, arguably the greatest bowler of all time in 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 any – representing any country um, in any format of the game has retired. He has. Um, there'll be a few people listening going, absolutely not, Ashwin. No, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely not. That's fine. Like, it's, certainly uh, one of the goats. So, uh, certainly one of the – Yeah. I'll put arguably there. Uh, actually, no. The, <laughs> the greatest swing bowler of all time. Yes, okay. that would be very difficult to challenge. I think. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, I, I don't think that's that outrageous of a claim. Mm. Um, yeah, obviously one of my one of my all time favorites for a, a long, long time mm-hmm. was a long time coming. You know, competing at Test match level at the age of forty one for a fast bowler. Yeah, medium fast bowler, but medium bowler by the end <laughs> is uh, it's it's no no easy feat. Yeah. Test cap number six hundred and thirteen for England, seven hundred and four wickets. Like it's, yeah, it's an incredible, incredible effort. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the last two home Test matches f- for England, Stuart Broad's retired and Jimmy Anderson's retired. Massive. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two massive losses. Two incredible servants of the game. And yep. yeah, obviously something we had to mention. Obviously, something we had to mention. Yeah. All the best in your retirement, Jimothy. Jimothy. Absolutely. <laughs> Another headline. Um, Adam Simpson has been sacked. Yep. Yeah. Probably probably the worst kept secret in the NFL, right? It was it was I feel like we we all knew it was it was coming. Mm-hmm. Just it's uh, they're, they're they're an odd odd sort of club, aren't they? The Eagles. They were obviously they won the flag in twenty eighteen. It's not that long ago. There's no. a lot of a lot of players that are still at the club, and they've yep. just sort of been going through an awful awful period. Mm. And obviously something's got to give. I don't always agree that sacking the coach is is the right move, and I'm not saying that it is the right move now, but. I don't know if you saw the uh, the headline from the the West Australian, the newspaper over in Perth. Yeah, or one of I don't know. So obviously they've been talking a lot about Adam Simpson through this West Coast dark 
patch. Yeah, in the lead up. It's not yeah. sort of recent thing, yeah. probably. Yeah. And so, on the cover of the West Australian, they put see your simo and then in big sort of block letters his recent record so it was like heaps of like bright red blocks with like l l l l, 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 l. and it was like the occasional w yeah and it's just like that bloke has given his all to that club for 11 years mm-hmm. has delivered them a flag they appeared in another grand final in 2015 that's true isn't it he's a he's a you know, he's a loyal servant of the club. And yeah. It's just, that's, I just don't know if that's, if that's the way that you, you see someone out. And West Coast, apparently, on, on the West Coast website, yep. they're like, the West Australian are like a major partner. That they're, they're listed on West Coast website as like a wow. major partner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's definitely like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause a lot of backlash that one. Mm. Mm. Thoughts? Yeah. I mean, it's like you said, it's, it's sort of, um, you forget, I think, we're always so focused on the present, I think. And, yeah, he literally won a flag mm. <laughs> and got to a final. Grand final. Grand yeah, final. 20, I think it was 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 but that's the thing. It's like the cutthroat nature of professional sport and like we we've spoken about it before we've spoken about i mean i can't remember how much we touched on it for um what with uh what dimmer mm. and um uh even when clarko left and like a few things like that right yeah. it was just like talking about how sometimes it's just the nature of professional sport and um, as much as we can say, you know, like he did get him to a flag and, and got him to a grand final. If you can't continue. Yeah. Yeah. It's just what happens. It's, um, it is, it is sad to see cause there's, you know, there's not many current coaches that you can say have won a, have won a flag. Like there's only a handful yeah. in the league that have, that are still in the league that have, have done so. Done that. Yeah. Yeah, just I think, yeah, it's you know it's a business, it's it's cutthroat. Yeah, just maybe just a little bit of respect. Bit of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've got a soft spot for Adam Simpson as well, North yep. North Skipper, and um, but yeah, is he coming home? Is he coming home to Clarko? <laughs> He's coming home. Assistant coach. <laughs> yeah, maybe coming home. Oh, well, we'll that's say, mate. that's almost too good of a segue, isn't it? Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, I actually didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it to yourself. Oh, the Euros. It came home. Euro 2024 wrapped up and England lost back-to-back European finals. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Spain ended up taking out the tournament. Yep. And let's be honest, they were the best team all tournament. It was Spain, Daylight, and everyone else. Okay. But, um, yeah, got up and watched the final. Got up and watched the semi-final as well, but got up and watched the, the final yep. Monday morning. And, yeah, was watching it and didn't really feel like we ever got going. We weren't sort of quite in the game. Yeah, Spain okay. had a lot of possession. Yep. They scored, yeah, right after half time, mm-hmm. like England just hadn't woken up after the half time break. Yep, and it just looked like they were just going to control the game out, like just control possession and see the game out. Yep. And then we we Cole Palmer scored for England, yep. sort of, sort of against the run of play, and we had we had a, a few minutes, like a patch of like really really good momentum after thought, oh, after that goal after we scored. Yeah, yep. and it's like oh oh maybe maybe we're we're going to capitalize on this and score yeah, again. Yeah. We were like stuck between keeping on with the playing really positively, playing playing aggressively, and holding back and playing defensively, which often Gareth Southgate has been criticised for. Right, and we sort of got caught between two minds, and then we ended up going more defensively to what felt like we were just holding on for extra time to try and get a draw. And, and then they yeah. scored, and extra time never never came. Mm. So I didn't think. We were 
gonna win. I think what I was telling people when I was when we chat, obviously it came up and oh, you're watching the game. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get up and watch it. Yeah, and it's like, oh, really? It's like, yeah, I'm not expecting us to win, <laughs> but on the off chance we do, yeah, you want to be, be saying be cool that. to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, congrats to Spain. He says through gritted teeth, <laughs> it it is not coming home. No, the um the England men's team. I'll say men's team because yep. the. The women won the last the most Euros. recent one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The man them couldn't get couldn't it done. Get so the <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but the men's teams wait for a trophy. Fifty-eight year wait for a trophy. Now it it, uh, it drags on. It drags on. And in an attempt to sort of get ahead of the memes and get ahead of all the smart ass comments about yep. it, it got us. It got us thinking about how different the world was fifty-eight years ago when England. This men team, men's mm. team, last one, yeah, uh, last one, the trophy, yeah. There's been quite a few things that have happened since since that uh, year, uh, 58, 58 years ago, fifty eight years ago, yeah, yep, long, long time, nineteen sixty six. So today, what we're going to be doing is giving the listeners some perspective about how much has happened since. England last lifted a men's football trophy, which was 58 years ago. It was, mate, 1966. So it makes it makes sense in my head to mm-hmm. sort of start with the, with the game itself because it's a pretty obvious difference. Mm. England won the game 4-2 in yeah. extra time. They played West Germany. <laughs> so... The Berlin Wall was still standing. The yep. USSR was was still a nation, a, yes. a collective of nations. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you know. There was an East and West Germany at that East point. East and West time. Germany, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how different the world was. Yep. Cold War was was red hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was up I think it was nineteen ninety one. The Berlin Wall was up, I think that was when it was, up when until, it was down. Yeah, when, when it was it, taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You think? No? I, I, you were the one that did. Uh, did you do Year Twelve history? I did. Yes. I did. Yeah. Yep. So I will take your word for it. Uh nineteen ninety one. Yep. The fall of the Berlin Wall. The fall of the yep. Berlin Wall. Um, yeah. Tell you what else has happened. When England last won the trophy, Harold Holt hadn't yet gone for a swim. <laughs> Gone, gone for a swim. Gone for a swim. So the, the former, the former prime minister of this great nation. Yes. Someone who was lost at sea. Yes. Presumed dead. Yes. You just hadn't gone for a, a leisurely. Hadn't gone for a uh, for a dip at uh, Point Nepean. Leisurely stroll, a leisurely swim at uh, Point Nepean. Mm. Do we think? Because it is like officially he's presumed dead, right? I think so. I, y- yes. Oh, oh, are we saying, is there a possibility? I'm sure there's a part of the internet that has Harold Holt conspiracies. Mm. So the fact there's no evidence of a body, right? Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he's like on some island somewhere living like castaway vibes. Yeah, he would mm. be very old if... <laughs> yeah, well... Maybe he just died of old age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good point. Um, you know, there was um, this uh, swimming pool near where I used to live, like a local swimming pool. It's back called, at, um, I think it's in, in Malvern, I think, or Glen oh, yeah. Iris. I think yeah. I can't remember where the actual thing. I think it's in Malvern. Yeah, um, called the Harold Holt Swimming Centre. <laughs> and it, it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it makes me. I remember I used to interesting see it. decision to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it is odd. Odd could be like a library. Could be. Yeah, could be so many things. Yeah. A sporting oval. Um, okay. Too soon. Yeah. 
<laughs> too soon, maybe? That's what I thought. Every time it pops up on Google Maps, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, not sure about that not one. Not sure about that not one. Sure about that one. <laughs> Won't be going down myself. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Won't be going for a leisurely dip. <laughs> <There's>, oh my <laughs> god! It's just like you know, how, like in indoor, indoor like pools and stuff. They have like like the wave pool and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> they are awesome. So it's just these violent waves <laughs> trying to kill you. Alleged, allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, kill you. allegedly. Yeah. Alleged, allegedly, during a leisurely dip. Yes. Down at Point of Pain. Point of Pain. Um, um, yeah. All right. Speaking of changing the subject, <laughs> when um, England last won a trophy, mm. uh, man still hadn't walked on the moon. Wow. You think back to how long ago that was. Mm. It was 20th of July, 1969, I want to say. Yep. 19. Nice. Um <laughs> Neil Neil Armstrong's foot mm-hmm. made contact with with the moon's surface. The moon, the moon, the motherfucking moon. That is uh, that's that's a big one because that's probably that's very when you think of like historic moments. Definitely a big one. It's probably the most historic one we've got. So on the, yeah, on to think that um, England hasn't won a trophy since then. Mm. Yeah. Yep. One. Um, Small step for man. Yes. Uh, one giant wait for England fans <laughs> for it to come home. Mm. Still, can you imagine? You just imagine we 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 currently live in a world where a man can come home from the moon, <laughs> but a trophy can't come home to England. <laughs> That's the reality we live it's in. The reality as we English live in. people, and it's fucking fantastic. I promise. Uh, here's another one. When England last won a trophy, uh, daylight savings wasn't a thing in Australia. That's crazy. Mm? I just kind of assumed it was always a, a thing. thing. Like the clocks changed when it got hotter, and then they changed again when it got colder. I like daylight savings. I like when the days are longer. We we like we both like it so much that we did an entire episode on it. Did we? I think so. It was something about daylight savings? Was it? Did, didn't we? Didn't we talk about um, the bloke that invented daylight savings? <laughs> did we? Did I have a dream? <laughs> <laughs> you pitch you an episode idea. I swear, I swear, there was this bloke that that wanted to um, wanted to have more time. At the end of the day, to um, I can't. It wasn't fishing. It was like hunting. Um, I can't remember hunting or catching um frogs or what the fuck are you shit? going on about? <laughs> <laughs> We've talked some shit on this show, but what the fuck is I that? Thought, I swear we had an entire episode based on this. If I is this all just a dream? Have I just made this up? I am. I am not sure. I am not <laughs> sure. You said it with such confidence. Okay. I don't know. So, well, yeah. They, well, yeah. Like, we do love daylight savings, and I'm, I'm kind of I'm, you, you've convinced me that we might have done a daylight savings episode. Something about the clocks changing. Hold on, clocks changing. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. The clocks are changing. The gears are turning. Hold on, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look about- into this. I'm going to look into this when we when we're done. Oh, I can't remember, but it was some. Maybe the that initial idea was just like a spitball thing uh, talking one, about. An the, idea that the, never made it to air. The bloke that invented it and then we just scrapped it because it was just a a one-line gag. and About frogs? About <laughs> I don't even remember if it was what frogs. The, on. What the- I'm mate. probably making shit up now. Anyway. Oh, mate. Since the accident. <laughs> <laughs> um, moving on. When mm. England last won a trophy, mm. of course, the men's team, men's yep. football team, yep. uh, the Sydney Opera House was five years into being built mm-hmm. and still seven years away from being finished. Wow. So, not only is the Opera House quite old, mm-hmm. it also was a hell of a project. Y- yeah. <laughs> a hell of a project. <laughs> it took quite a while. That is a very long project. Imagine being the bloke quoting, quoting that one up. 
Oh, like how long? How long it'll take yeah. you to get the get the job done? Yeah, you get that one done by Christmas, mate. Nah, nah. nah. Yeah, yeah. Not this Christmas. One one Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> a particular Christmas. Yeah. Twelve years down the line. <laughs> yeah. oh. Um, when England last won a trophy, um, smallpox was still kicking about. <laughs> smallpox was just kicking about. It just, was just doing its thing. Just, it was just chilling. Yes, yes, I do believe it was. Um, it was still still in Australia. Still in the world. Yeah, still in the world. Did you ever ever dabble? In smallpox? Did you ever get smallpox? No, no. No, no I don't believe never, so. No? Didn't, never tried it. Um, never tried it. So, yeah. yeah, you're not in a position to, to recommend or anything to like recommend, that. No. Yeah. Quite thankful, actually. Quite thankful. <laughs> what, are the, uh, what are the symptoms of smallpox? What's I, the- I don't know. Yeah? I don't know, but- Fair enough. Sounds horrific. Yep. No, nah, that's. I don't think anyone can knock you for not having that answer. Yep, <laughs> offhand. <laughs> um, what else has happened, mate? When England last won a trophy, mm. LSD was still legal in the US. <laughs> yeah, you've um, that's 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 a shocker. That's a shocking one for me. Just imagining yeah. that it was ever legal. Yep, but you've never. Dabbled, dabbled in smallpox. Have you ever dabbled in, dabbled in LSD? LSD? Um, so I'm a I'm a teetotaler, and a I'd say no, I haven't. No, nah. okay, no. Mm. Yourself? Yeah, fair. That was we were really on the edge of our seat there. Yeah. Uh, me. Um, no, 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 not not f- not for me. Okay, not for me. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> um, when England last won a trophy, um, the Aussies that tuned in to watch it watched it in black and white because coloured TV wasn't a thing in Australia. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Mm. I think it was 1972 or something like that. When, 1972. Um, when the first coloured television was. Have, have you seen the, the, the clip of, uh, I can't remember what show it was but like there's a there's a clip on youtube somewhere of yeah australian tv changing from black and white black to color and, and they like they slowly change the screen oh i don't think so i don't think you really you've never okay i, well, I remember the welcome to television thing yeah um I'll see if i can find it but yeah mm. Mm. It's, it's pretty fascinating the way they do it the way, yeah cool yeah yeah Hmm. I can't really say anything more because I, I can't quite remember. I, can't I, remember. I, I will. I will definitely show you after this. Mm. Speaking of black and white TV, mm. the people that um, tuned in to watch the 1966 World Cup final when yep. England beat West Germany four two in extra time. Yes. Shout out to Jeff Hurst for scoring a hat trick. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Was that all? Um, yeah. No. So they they watched that on black and white TV, yep. and they would have also. Less than two months later, mm. would have watched St. Kilda also win the flag in black and white. In 66. In 66, yeah. Yeah, we love we love the Saints. I feel like they haven't- um, Copped a mention in a while. No, I don't feel like they have. Mm. We do love the Saints. Oh, surely it hasn't been that long. Since the last time we said it. It's probably, we've definitely dropped off, both of us. Um, but- but enough about the pod. We're talking about Saint Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, if you are if you are a listener and you're unhappy with with the lack of love that we are showing the Saints at the yep. moment, please do slide into into the DMs. Let us know at Fine Leg to Fall Forward. Mm. We always love love in the DMs, but yep. um, we do also need to be called out and put in our place every now and then. We're open to honest and constructive feedback, so. Yep, that was the end of that train of thought. <laughs> but 1966, right? Yep. England, that was their only trophy yeah, in history. Yeah. 1966, the only trophy the, the, the Saints, Saints have won was that year as well. Wow. There's actually there's a few similarities there. Between, between England and St. Kilda? Yeah. No, there is. Mm. Go on. <laughs> Shit, okay. Um, I didn't realise there'd be follow-up questions. Well, yeah, you've got... You've got uh, did I mention the, the fact that the only trophy they've won was 1966? Uh, 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yes. there's that one. So, yep. Okay. okay. That, so that's a, that, that's that a, counts as well. A pretty already... pretty big similarity. Yeah. The yeah. list the list has already begun. Yeah. So the fact that they both only won. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you been to St Kilda lately? Not lately. No. Ah. Oh, well, they're both full of English people. <laughs> England and St Kilda. Oh, I fucking yeah, I hate it. I hate it. There's <laughs> so many English people in St Kilda. Oh, it shits me, mate. It shits me. I fucking hate St Kilda, and I hate English people. Just every like pubs, bars, everywhere, just, like, everywhere. I fucking, I just, I can't stand English accents. <laughs> they're just always, just oh, they're everywhere. Jeez, you wouldn't want to go to England then, would you? I haven't been back since I moved. <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> Maybe it is. There's um yeah, subconscious part of me not wanting to go back. Okay, so that's okay, that's that's a, that's another commonality there. Fucking hell, you really um how many do you want? Um <laughs> trying to think English stereotypes uh annoying accents. English people they, they you know, they have they're known for having bad teeth, right? Uh, I've heard that. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm doing okay in the teeth department. Like, uh, yeah, yeah not I don't bad. think they're too bad. Not bad. So English people, you know, bad teeth. You think of St Kilda, you think of Luna Park. The teeth on the entries entries to Luna Park, <laughs> they ain't great. <laughs> they aren't exactly pearly whites. So there you go. There's another one in common. Th- yep, that's three. Yep. Fish and chips. I don't know. I think about England. I think about fish and chips, and I've had fish and chips in St Kilda before. <laughs> You've had it before. One time, yeah. <laughs> is that four, is four enough? Is four enough? Oh, if we can count those four. Well, how yeah. many t- how many times are we counting? Six, 1966. Yeah, how many times are we to count that? Switch on. Did you know that switch on can be anything? I've been told. Yeah, by me mm. and only me. Numerous times by uh, you and, and only you, yes. I'm sure you would have said it at least once, somewhere in 123 episodes. Probably, yeah. You would have said it. <laughs> so, as Switch On can be anything, we're mm-hmm. doing a bit of an activity. Mm. Uh, I've had the idea of, of doing this particular thing for a little while and I've just always forgot. So- Something I've seen on socials that, as a result, you probably won't be aware of, is is blind rankings. Have you heard of, of blind rankings? Do you know what they are, how they work? No. So, essentially, one person is like, you know, often you're like interviewing another person or it's on like a bloody TikTok filter or something. But, essentially, you've got to rank, let's say, five things from yep. best to worst. Yep but you're only getting the things one at a time mm-hmm. and you don't know what's coming next. Yeah. Okay. So, if I say like, if I go rank your top five drinks and then, you know, you go, I give you like tea and you put it like three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You then, you can't change you that. You can't change that. From yeah. three and you have no idea what's coming. What's coming. Yeah. You, you have to, yeah, has to stay locked in. You have cool. to, you have to sort of commit. Yep. Yeah. So, I thought we'd do that mm-hmm. with, obviously, we've been talking about I guess we kind of derailed, so I'm sort of going on the fly. We uh, were talking mm. about England players, f- football players, yeah. and St Kilda players. Yeah. So I think I might just go through. I might ask you to blind rank. Yeah. Five all-time England football players. Okay. If you are, if you're down for that, of course. Yeah. If yeah. you're down for that, sounds good. All right. Here we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so we'll start with Wayne Rooney. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Okay. Raheem Sterling. Uh, f- four. Michael Owen? Oh, um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. Two. Two. 
Michael Owen above Wayne Rooney, right? <laughs> so you've got one and five left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, divisive. <laughs> Jordan Henderson. Five. <laughs> Who am I left that with? Leaves <laughs> Who does that, that leave? leaves you with Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Crouch is number one. Peter Crouch so, is your guy. So you got what you went, Peter Crouch, Michael Owen, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Second most England caps of all time. <laughs> Who did you put for? Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling. And then Jordan, Jordan Henderson. Henderson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not too bad considering. Yeah. Did you... Now that you've un- un- got the concept down, did you yep. did you have five players? Yes. Did you think of five players? Yes. Would, same for me? Yep. Yep. Um, there may be a bit of overlap because of- Well, we, yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. Oh, see, I've got to sort of think about England players that you would know, that I, <laughs> I know you'd know. Um... Ashley Cole, fuck. I'll go three. Okay. I'll go three. Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs is Welsh. Shocker. Is that a shocker? That's it's the accident. It's finally finally returned, sir, from the um the Pakistani Afghanistan. <laughs> was it? Afghanistani yes. Bangladeshi um yes. <laughs> no, uh, Ahmed Nabi, was uh, it? Af- Af- Afghanistan Af- Bangladesh. 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 Yeah. 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 Ryan Giggs is Welsh, mate. Right. Okay. I will give you a new player. <laughs> you said you had five. <laughs> I thought you could think of five players. <laughs> Gave you a bit of time. Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. <laughs> right, gigs. Frank Lampard. Play something. He's, he's, he's English, right? He's English, he's yep. Like, yeah. Ah, he's, better than, yeah, he's better than Ashley Cole. I, put, I should have put Ashley Cole four. I'll go Lampard two. Okay. Uh, Raheem Sterling. Five. Okay. Steven Gerrard. Oh, who are you going to put in one? Oh, no, sorry. Who are you going to end with? Steven Gerrard. I mean, he's better than Ashley Cole. Is he better than, ugh, is he better than Lampard? I'm going to have to put in one. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Uh, no, four. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with, with that. that. Yeah, Gerrard, Lampard, Ashley Cole, Kane, Sterling. Mm. All time England players. You've done well. I'm happy with that. You've done very well. I'm happy with I that. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, well, I got that, that, the luck of the draw, aren't they, really? Mm. And even more so when you get given Welsh players. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we'll do the same thing. Yeah. But with Saints players yep. of all time. Yep. Did you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. <laughs> Dustin Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> Lenny Hayes. Fuck. Lenny Hayes. Lenny Hayes. <laughs> Leonard. Two. He's a Norm Smith, Norm Smith medalist. Jade Gresham. Jade Gresham. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky Wimmer. Three. Nick D'Alessandro. Four. Justin Kaczynski. One. Okay. Yeah, it's close. Close. That's, uh, yeah, you're happy. Well, you can't oh, have no, you, there's, there's a couple I'd swap there. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but I'm okay with but that. But okay. I'm okay with that. Ah. All right. You ready for yours? I'm ready. <clears throat> Lee Montagna. Three. Okay, okay. David Armitage. Five. Jason Graham. 
Four. Brendan Goddard. Two. Sam Gilbert. One. <laughs> Probably changed a few there, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> that will just about do it for another unspecified time unit, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. You got it right that time. Mm, Proud I of you. did. Thanks, mate. Um, I did notice that um, this episode is episode one, two, three. It is. It's the only time that we're ever going to have an episode that is numbered one, two, three, which is quite special. It is. It is also how numbers work. Yep. 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 It is special though. It's, uh, has it been easy as ABC? Today? One, two, three. Look, I'd say, I'd say, um, I see what you do there. First, first, first. Oh, first. Thank God. Um, Didn't see it at the start of the episode. No. <laughs> But, um, yeah, today's been easier than last week. But, again, we just – some technical difficulties, mate. But, uh, mate, when life gives you lemons, yeah. you try not to throw them at your computer. <laughs> That's a saying, isn't it? I think That's so. Saying. Yeah. I think so. We're both, we're both kind of matching again today. I like the colour scheme. The blue. It's nice. Yeah, it works with the uh, – the green canvas on the wall, didn't it? Mm, we've, yeah. we've done that perfectly, mm. as per usual. Mm. Um, anything more to say? You want to keep waffling? Olympic starts in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Going to be watching that? Yeah. 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 Will be. Yeah. Absolutely. Watching some swimming in the Harold Holt <laughs> <laughs> Swimming Centre. <laughs> Sure, we do an Olympics episode. I don't think we've we've never done one before, and this is mm. almost the perfect time for it. Yeah. All right, done. We'll start planning that after this. Yep. And we'll leave you to go about your unspecified time unit, however you please. And in the meantime, keep kicking goals. <laughs>